I am Duda Miss D, and I am your spiritual leader and life and relationship coach. And I am very empathic about relationships, particularly between the man and the woman. And when I say the, that means specifically how and who God created you to be. So many relationships are broken. So many relationships are distorted. And so many people are together but silently, they really, really are not experiencing the fullness of what is intended for that relationship because of the who, who they are as a man or who they are as a woman. Now, women, we are looking for so many things from them, but we have something that they need, and that's called dunamis. They need the power. They need the strength. They need the force that is on the inside of us, particularly in this era of time that we're living. Our men are out there warring, fighting. The system of this world was never designed, particularly our black men, to cause them to prosper based upon who they are. So we have something that we have to give them. So I wanna to talk to you today even the more about how do you as the woman revive the man through your lovemaking. Many times we think of the lovemaking as just having sexual intercourse and just coming together and getting a climax. But no, it's a love that we come together, that we affirm them and bring some things to life. So it's not about what the man can get, but it's about what the woman can give him during that time of intimacy. So I want to give you three things because you as the woman, you possess the power, you possess the strength, you possess the ability to revive him, particularly if he's experienced past relationships with the woman that has been the first impact in his life, which typically has been his mother. But you have something that the mother can't give. You have that ability to go into that private times to bring life and revive his very soul. So in these three things I'm gonna give you, I want you to be very mindful of it. When you enter into those times of intimacy, first of all, he needs affection. Just don't lay there and just, oh, let him get his nut. Give him the touch. Give him the affection. Give him the places of his soul through his body that you know stimulates him. Be mindful of that. And then two, he needs affirmation. Even in those times of lovemaking, affirm him, speak to him, tell him how powerful he is, build him up from the inside, tell him how much you just not only need him, but you require that which you're giving, he's giving you at that moment, which is himself. And then the third thing is, is that he really needs adoration. Boy, I tell you, many times we think that just a woman needs to be adored, but the man needs to be adored. He needs that because it's a blessing to his life. I know that we think blessings means I'm getting something tangibly. I'm going to get this new thing. But when blessings come, it means adoration is here. So bless the man in your life. Adore him. Adore him like he's the only thing on this earth that can move and stimulate you. And I promise you, as the woman, as the dunamis woman, as the woman who possessed the power, who possessed the strength, you ain't got to worry about a woman ever again. A woman doesn't never hold up what to the woman can do for the man in her life. Well, that's what I have for you. I am Dee Collins and Dee Speaks, you think.